Dear students, today we will discuss web implementations. As we discussed that web stands out as compared to its competitors like Goofer and Hyper-G uh, at that time. And now that's why we will be focusing on World Wide Web, its architecture and how it works, how the information is accessed. So there are two important concepts. One is browsers and one is web servers. So browser is basically a software that is residing on your client side uh, which want to access the information so at that side and it obtains the material requested by the user from the web server and web server is residing on the computer containing hypertext documents which you want to search and documents are transferred using hypertext transfer protocol each document on the web is given a unique address and that address is known as Uniform Resource Locator, URL. So each document will get its own unique URL. So it will not be uh, like human names which are shared by multiple people. So each URL will mean or will be mapped to only one document. And each URL has all information to access the document. Let's have an example. So, for example, if there is a, a URL like http eagle.mu.edu author Shakespeare's and Julius Caesar.html. So, here are four parts in this example. One is http, and this is basically protocol required to access the document. In this case, it is hypertext transfer protocol. So, here other protocols can also be used like here you can use FTP or the variations of HTTP like HTTPS something like this and then uh, this thing basically the mnemonic name of host holding the document which we learned in one of the previous uh, modules and then uh, from authors until Shakespeare is the directory path indicating the location of the document within the host file system and then this is the actual document which we want to retrieve so this is the document which we want to remove uh, access and to reach to this document we need to mention all this part as well because we want to locate this document on the internet that this document is available on this host and under this path. So what if we give incomplete URL? For example, we say http www.view.edu.pk and we do not write anything after this. So in such a situation, you will be given a starting page which is called home page or sometime it is called index page that will be shown to you and what if we um, do not mention http we simply mention www.view.edu.pk in such situation your web browser is uh, intelligent enough to add http before this address so if we summarize today's module we have learned about web implementations web browsers web servers and the concept of url and how the url is being used